Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, a few years ago, I built an ultra large format camera that is 24 inches by 24 inches. That's a pretty uh, huge camera. So it's actually a simple build. It's just two square standard, one for the front, one for the back, and I connect them by a uh, big bellows. So at the bottom, there's no support base or focusing reel. I support the two standard by using two tripod. So it's kind of unstable and uh, not easy to use. So after a while, I dismantle the whole setup and recycle the wood and the bellows. So I thought that would be the end of my ultra large format camera building adventures. But who knows, just a few weeks ago, my friend passed me a big lens. And I think I have to restart my ultra large format camera building adventure again. So when I say big lens, how big it is. So I measure it is about 8 kilograms heavy. And the focal length is 36 inches and uh, f6.3. It is used up in aircraft to take areas uh, photos. And uh, this is probably made during uh, 1940 something, probably during the World War. Oh, let me put this down first. So this video will be the first part of a series. Maybe I will have two or three more uh, videos on the ultra large format camera making process. So in this video, I will talk a little bit more about this lens. Uh, one or two things I built for this lens. All right, so this is the lens. Next to it is a four by five. Uh, lens and a film SLR just to give you an idea how big this lens is right in terms of height is about 28 cm or about uh, 11 inches high the front element uh, lens diameter is about 15.5 uh, cm or six and a half inch The lens came to me, it was actually quite um, dusty and there's some fungus on the lens element itself. I have uh, give it a wipe using alcohol. I think that removed most of the dust and the fungus. Um, probably not the best way to clean a lens. but. Taking into account that this lens is uh, quite old, um, there shouldn't be any coating there. And um, it's really too big to send it to anywhere for professional cleaning. Right? It probably will cause a bomb. Right? So um, let me just show you how to remove the element. Eventually. So I've removed the front element. And inside there you can see that there's no aperture. I think the aperture was removed uh, at some point of this uh, lens live eh? so there's no aperture so it will be wide open for now aperture is f6.3 the focal line is 36 inch there's a serial number here I'm sure you can see from the video itself but you can see that actually there's some marks of the where the fungus was growing but I wipe it off um, if any better idea on how to clean this lens please let us know right. so I have removed the lens elements from the what do you call this the metal rim so this is the top element is a biconvex uh, lens element this part is convex, the top part is convex, and the bottom part is also convex if we look at it at the an angle. Right? Uh, it'll be convex with something flat here, right? So that's the top top element. And then the bottom part, which is a thick piece of glass. Um, this seems to be a biconcave. Right, both sides is actually a con concave plane, right? So this is the two element and this is how we stack up so this is the back element and um, i couldn't remove this ring further 
Um, neither could I remove the retaining ring here by hand and I don't have the tools to uh, open it. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, what I can feel here is that um, on the side facing the lens barrier, this is a convex design and then the lens element facing outside, this is a concave design. So you can see I have my simple lens support uh, put here, raise up, okay, and this is the window. So what I will do is to put my lens up here and then uh, put a piece of white card somewhere here so that an image will be um, formed on the white card. And then from there we can so-called guess what's the image circle. So let's do it. All right, so, um, so I uh, put some clothes pads around the curtain, turning this lens or this room into a camera obscura. And then we can take a look at the image being formed when we put a piece of white paper somewhere here. I'm just using a envelope that contains 16 by 20 photo paper from Uford. So this envelope should be more than 1620. So you just move the paper until you come to a point that um, you, the image form on the paper is sharp right now. So that will be the focal length of the uh, lens at infinity. So I can see that this image circle is more than 1620, uh, which is more than enough what I want to use it for. So this is the lens support that I built for this lens because the lens is so heavy and um, I don't think I can just mount it anywhere without a support that support the front part of the lens itself. Okay, so this is just a quick and a dirty way of uh, doing a lens support. A few pieces of wood, I cut the curve so that it will fit the lens. Right, so the lens being so heavy and big, it will require some form of support, especially this part, right? It can't be like an ordinary um, small, smaller format uh, lens where you can just mount straight to the front standard of the camera. So I have um, built a lens support for it. Uh, just some, just a few pieces of wood and uh, cut some curve that will fit the front part of the lens. Um, definitely this won't win any prize in any uh, woodcraft competition. How I designed this is that it will have two height adjustment uh, because I was thinking of uh, this, using this with a box camera. I will build a ultra large format uh, camera, box camera to use this lens. So it will have two height adjustment. One is this way and the other one will be this way, right? So I think that my box camera is not going to be a square shape. That's why I built it with two height, right? So, okay, this is how it will fit. So this one height, um, go to this, okay. So I'll imagine that this part will actually go into the box camera here, right? And this mounting ring will be mounted to the box camera or fitted in there, right? And if I need to change the height, there's only one choice. One other choice, set the lens support to this and then leave it here so this will be at the higher position okay as i mentioned there is no shutter in the lens now so i will definitely have to think of a way to control the exposure time of course one way uh, since i probably be shooting with uh, photo paper is to use a lens cap 
because photo paper the exposure time is usually uh, in terms of seconds huh? so I can leave the landscape on and off the front element right uh, for example exposure of one second I say can leave it away 1000 and then put it back right okay so this is the landscape that I have made using a piece of wood right and some cardboard to form the rim and I use black tape again it won't win any design price but it will definitely be functional over. hi guys thank you for watching to the end of this video as you can see the lens is pretty uh, big and heavy so using it will not be like using any other large format lenses for the 4x5 or 8x10 camera system you can see that I have uh, built a few things. So uh, moving forward, I may want to build a better shutter control other than using a lens cap and also some uh, water house stops, that means the aperture stop for this lens so that we can uh, have a bit more control over what aperture that we will use other than shooting it wide open at S6.3. Right. So uh, do follow my videos and I will update my this ultra large format camera building process along the way. As usual, please uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it and finally do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye!